And uh, me and D-I-T-R Dirth, the, the uh, Flat Earth guy, we've been texting. We're doing the stream this, uh, this week. He's an awesome guy. So that's happening. The down the rabbit hole dude. So we will, I, I, we're gonna have a conversation about, um, what I'm the most interested in is the world we live in where people, just, just the deceptions of the world and how people get to that conclusion and all that because I can't stand when people talk to flat earth people and they try to humiliate them and be like, you're so fucking dumb, look at you. Look at you thinking the earth is flat, you're so stupid and I'm so smart. When in reality, there's a lot of really weird things about the shape of the earth. But um, you know, one thing that makes me think the earth is a sphere is uh, ham radio, how, the, how they bounce signals, how that works seems to be very spherical. So I'd like to get some info on that, but it's not one of these debate or agreement, it's just a chat. You know, these are one of those, this is one of those topics where people are like, oh, you're gonna debate, you're gonna get all fucking destroyed. I'm like, well, I also have some questions about the shape of the earth and how satellites never seem to break or hit any space debris. And there's like thousands of them and there's never any issues. We never see them collide and fall to the earth. And there's like 10,000 of them and they never go out. And there's space junk everywhere going thousands of miles a second, which is, way stronger than any bullet and you can't possibly track it. Why is that? Like stuff like that. Like I'm an inquisitive guy. And so that's why flat earth people, I don't find them to be stupid at all. And I wouldn't be surprised if there was something legitimately nefarious going on with our current model of the universe. I mean, obviously it's not what they say it is, but, um, I love conversations like that, but people are always trying to be like, oh, sir, you're either going to humiliate him and he's going to look stupid or you're going to look stupid or you guys are just going to fucking say all the stupid shit. It's like, dude, it's fascinating. It's fascinating. Fascinating. Because, um, because, um, people get so mad. There's so much around this because uh, people are like, well, you know, it's called the bending of light. You know, you're always talking about the, the, the water when you, the ship and the fucking curvature and try doing that on land, faggot. It's like, yeah, it's called the salt flats and where is that? Ecuador, Venezuela, you can see like 150 miles, no curve. I'm not saying the earth is flat. I'm just saying that's fascinating. They're like, well, I mean, try doing that. Try doing that on the moon, faggot. It's like, dude, try just talking about something and not being terrified all the time. How's that sound? How's it sound to just, you know, not assume, when people are like, they, they're these experts on light bending, it's like, you don't even know if it's a wave or a particle. It's both, it can't be. It can't be both a wave and a particle. A particle and a wave cannot simultaneously exist. A photon and a wave can't both exist. So when people say the frequency of infrared versus ultraviolet and all that, that means energy is transferring through a medium. You ever see a wave with water? It just, the water doesn't move. It's the energy moves. That's how a wave works. A medium vibrates, zip. A photon is like a bullet. It's a particle. And that's the only way they can explain traveling through a vacuum because they didn't think that one through. It can't be a wave and a particle. That's like a vegan meat eater. Those are two things that can't, so how could it be a wave and a particle? And then they go, well, you're not smart enough to understand. Someone just said light's a string. Right, I'm not saying what isn't. I, I'm fascinated by this stuff and I just find that world to be interesting. It could all be a psyop. It could all be bullshit. It could be a way to discredit valid um, um, conspiracy theories. I don't think so. I think there's way too many things about it that are fucking insane where it's not one of those hiding in plain sight psyop things where it's like it's it's meant to discredit. You know, like uh, I've been wrong many times in my life, but I can usually spot those uh, red herring type things where they're trying to they're trying to pull you away, you know, with the with the pre it's called the prestige and magic where, you know, where you guys get it. I, I don't feel that that's it. All right, guys, hit the Rogans up. Oh, and dude, modern engineering wouldn't work if the world was flat. People always say that, but they never give me any examples. None. They always go, well, there's all the scientific evidence. There's, there's pages and thousands of years. 
And then I always say, like, what? And they always go, well, all of it. Every bit of it. I'm like, how does a satellite not ever break? Thousands of satellites spinning for years and years and years with space junk. And you never see them, they never break. No one's ever like, well, the, the satellite broke, so we, we don't have internet today. Never happens. How is that possible? Well, I mean, big bear, you wouldn't, you wouldn't. There's so many things that are that are bizarre. Why is the sun and the moon the exact same size in the, in the sky, even though they're 400 times different in size? I mean, the odds they're exactly the same size is insane. That doesn't make any sense. And then NASA has already lied to us about the moon landing. That is a fact. So we can't just believe them. They're liars. And the image of globe Earth has been photoshopped. I've seen interviews with the guy who did it. He brags about it. He brags about how it's a composite image. And of course he has to manipulate it and change it because there's no way to just show an image of an Earth, the Earth from a satellite. There's no images of Earth from the satellites. None, they're all artist renditions. But, but all, no engineering would work, that isn't true. Ham radio, ham radio is one of those things that I need explained. Ham radio seems to require a sphere Earth. And I, I hunt these things down, guys, hunt. You know, people will be like, well, then how the fuck does this thing work? And I'll look through, I'll, I'll, I'll analyze it. And there is ways that it would work on a flat earth. Like, like all these towers, why do you think you get no reception in the middle of a desert and then you get reception when you're near a city? If it was satellites, it would be grids and it would not care if you were in a desert or in a city. It's because of towers. Towers, guys. Towers give you reception. So... Why would, if it was satellites, why would it matter if you were near a, a large population or not? Why would there be these dead spots? Because it's uh, topographical from towers. I'm not saying the word, world is flat. I'm just saying that that doesn't, that doesn't um, compute. Ham radio, AM radio, you know, these things seem to bounce around a sphere. Um, but this is what I think is interesting. And yeah, someone could say that's the firmament. That's the dome around. And then people that just react like everyone's stupid. It's an insult to me personally. When people are like, man, how could you even listen to these fucking morons? I'm like, your IQ is 90. Mine's way higher. So just know that it's not stupid to wonder how all this shit works and why there is issues with a lot of it. There, there is. And it could be that the general population simply doesn't know a lot of shit because we weren't taught it in school. That's a possibility. A possibility is our educations are so fucking bad that we can't, because I can't put it together. So I know a lot of these people calling flat earth or stupid are full of shit. I had public education, brain destruction uh, schooling, but I also had really smart parents that taught me at home I did a lot of learning on my own. I had piano, I had a lot of logos. I can't put together how this works, how satellites work, how uh, the, how space works, how uh, a, a plane do, isn't affected by the spin of the earth. And yet people say, oh, it's all because it's in a contained thing. No, it isn't. When, when, a, when a plane is 30,000 feet off the ground, it's not even in the atmosphere. There's so little atmosphere that it's, it doesn't get sucked into an infinite vacuum. There's so little. Like even when you're on a, a moving bus and you jump up and down or walk, you still feel movement. If we're spinning a thousand miles an hour and a plane going east to west isn't affected by the spin of the earth, that doesn't make any sense to me. The, the satellite situation makes no sense to me. The, 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 the images of the sun and the moon and how they both are on a 24 hour, like they both move at the same speed. That, the, the odds of that are so low, it doesn't make sense. And so it could be my lack of education, literally. I, there could be things that I, I'm missing. But the, the people saying, uh, you're all a bunch of fucking idiots, I know they don't know. One thing I do know is the people that spiral. Like, the way Vox Day reacts is the accurate way of a skeptic, a flatter. He's like, I, 
I, maybe, I, I highly doubt it, but maybe. You know, and I, I'm 99% sure he thinks the world is absolutely a sphere, but he would never be like, you fucking morons. He's like, well, that would be interesting. Because like to say, to say there's no chance when you understand the level of deception that people have, have done to the world, the means, motive and opportunity are all there. And the fact that there is no cohesive image that science has given us of the universe. Dark matter and dark energy make no sense. 90% of the universe is something you can't see or feel or, or register or have any way of measuring. 90% of all the matter and energy. It's just, just trust us. Gravity is immeasurable. You can't detect gravity on the smallest level of like, of, of very dense objects, which doesn't make sense. There should be an ability to have very, very tiny dust particles get attached based on gravity that can't be measured. It's because it's so weak of a, of a force that it can't be measured anywhere except in large celestial bodies based on the heliocentric model of the solar system. So when people say that this is all stupid, they're, they're, they're so dumb that they can't question it because they don't know all the, we can't replicate a vacuum on earth. Not only does a spacesuit not work in a vacuum, it, we can't even replicate it. Why do you think that all the NASA videos are from underwater? That's the opposite of a vacuum. A vacuum would pull it out. A vacuum with a normal spacesuit would be ripped apart like that and anything inside would die. Fact. The whole space program is bullshit. When you are replicating a vacuum with the pressure of water, that makes no sense. And there's videos of the, uh, of the International Space Station where you can see bubbles. Fact. And so that's why that's why I'm, I find this very, very interesting. That's it. But the ham radio shit doesn't seem to fit with Flat Earth. And so I'm all about uh, talking about it. But Flat Earth, there's a lot of them act like they have rabies, like Savanye. Oh my God, Savanye! I have rabies. I'm gonna blow your mind. I'm gonna blow your mind with my rabies. I got rabies in my dick and my yoga pants. I'm gonna blow your mind. All right, guys, hit the Rogan Up button. If you want to support, join unauthorized.tv. Join. Uh, we no longer accept PayPal because PayPal fucked me. Um, Patreon.com slash WDTL. Sure, I'll probably be kicked off that too, but somehow I made it through the last two purges because I don't post on there. That's one thing that keeps me on the DL. I don't have tears, none of that stuff. But if you want to support, join there. But if not, or, or just write me a letter. Uh, P.O. Box 727, Gig Harbor, Washington, 9 Eight, three, three, five. So funny. I don't even live there. People are like, I know where you live. I'm gonna kill you. I don't even know the fucking zip code. You don't know where the fuck I am. And if you did, it's the worst decision you can ever make. Um. All right. What was I gonna say? Hit the Rogan up button. Share it. Like it. Uh. What else do I have to say? Um. And my uh my short my short form audiobooks will be for sale soon on Vox Day site. And this has been a blast. And by the way, by the end, this chat was a blast. I was reading the chat. It was surprisingly low in psychopaths. Oh, there's a, there's one just kind of popped down here. That was a blast, guys. I think I have to do really well. Like, I have to be on a roll. I have to be saying interesting or funny things. It keeps the psychos at bay because so many people are engaged with being like, hilarious, this is awesome, that it drowns them out. So part of it is my fault. Where there's, when there's too many psychos being like, oh my God, this guy's totally insane. He used to be a comedian, now he's a piece of fucking vile dog shit. His wife is gonna shoot him while he sleeps. <laughs> you know, like all those guys, they seem to come out when I'm not doing well enough. When I give them, you know, cause when people are just like, yeah, this guy gets it to 22, it's great. It drowns out and then people just jump in. They're like, but he's a madman and vile. And you don't even see it. So it's kind of on me.